Some of the effects that I do are out of this world. What's good, Power Director peeps? Today I'm going to show you how to make the glowing eyes tutorial using Power Director 17. If you've been wondering how to do this trick, I want you to put hashtag glow eyes glow in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director 17. Let's get to glowing. As you can see, there is a video clip of a wild and crazy dude in the timeline. Now, above that in the library, we have a .png image of a glowing circle. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to drag this down to the timeline underneath your footage that you're going to be placing the glowing eye over. Now that I have this in place, I'm going to place my cursor at the end of this dot png image of the glowing eye hold on my left mouse when i see these two arrows i'm going to drag this in to trim it and then i'm going to click here and click on the footage to move my playhead back to the beginning of the clip now the next thing that you want to do is position and resize the glowing eye so you can left click on it and go to designer and then go to pip designer Now, once you're here, you want to go ahead and change the scale first. So under scale, you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And I already know the parameters that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to type them in. You're going to have to drag and move the nodes in order to get it to the right size that you want. But since I don't have to do that, I'm not going to. So for the width, I'm going to change that. And for the height, I'm going to change that. And now for the position, once again, I already know where it's going to go. But if you didn't, then you can place your cursor over it till you see crosshairs and you can move it to where you want to move it. Since I already know where it's going to go, I'm just going to go ahead and type in the parameters. And it goes right where I want it. And the last thing I want to do is I want to make the eye appear on the screen. So I don't want it to just jump on the screen sharply. So to do that, I'm going to use the opacity setting and I'm going to use keyframes. So I'm going to enable keyframes here and I'm going to move my opacity all the way down to zero. And then I'm going to move my playhead about a second and a half in. So for this video, I'm at 24 frames per second. So a second and a half would be 1.12 or one second and 12 frames. And now I'm going to change my opacity all the way up to 100. And now I'm going to click on OK. And when I play this back, you'll see the red glowing eye appear on the screen. Slowly, right into place, right where I want it. All right. So now we need to do the same thing for the other eye. So now if I play this back, you can see both of the eyes appear. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now that you're done getting the eyes into the right position, you need to add a little bit of flair. But before you do that, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Now, back to the breathtaking tutorial. Let's finish off this fiasco. Now, both eyes are in place, so we want to change the color. So you want to left click on one of the png images go to fix enhance then we want to check on color adjustment and then you can change the hue to whatever color you want i'm looking for green so i'm going to change it to 150 and hit enter uh, you can drag this to whatever color you want make sure that if you want to see the colors that you move it to where your playhead to where you can see everything on the screen and you can move it around. You get purples. You got your oranges. You got all that good stuff. I'm going to do 150 and hit enter. 
we're good there so i'm gonna click on the next one do color adjustment again now we got two beautiful green glowing eyes now once you're done with that you want to add a little bit of extra glow to the eyes so let's close this out and then you want to click on effects you want to go to style and then you want to go to dreamy you want to left click and drag it down to each one of the eyes you can tell a little bit of difference there it adds a little bit more white dreamy thing to the middle drag this down to the next one and you got the same effect on both eyes now and then finally you want to feather each one of these eyes so that they're not so sharp so you want to left click on one of the eyes go to designer go to mask designer here you want to choose the oval mask the transparent in the middle and then you want to click on invert mask and then you want to feather your mask to the number that worked for you i'm good with one on this one once you're done you click on ok and you can see the difference there of how much softer it is around the eye and then if you want to add any sound effects you can add any sound effects you want As far as a fade, I went to the transition room and I use the constant gain so you can drag this down to the beginning. And then you got a beautiful little glowing eye effect. And that's how you make evil glowing eyes using Power Director 17. If you decide that you like Power Director 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.